So I've tried several cushions this year and so it was definitely hard to pick my top three cushions for 2021 but it came down to which cushions did I grab the most this year and like what did I catch myself just like taking with me without thinking and so I did gather my top three for 2021 so yeah let's get started. So the first one I chose for my top three is the Jeongsaemul Essential Skin Neuter Cushion and this comes in seven different shades and I I got mine in medium. So this one's a very popular one in Korea. I think a lot of people know about this brand. And so this one is really known to like enhance your skin, like work with what you have, like natural looking finish, very comfortable as well. And this one's also really nice because when you open it up, it has this artist palette. So what you do is you get some product and then you kind of just slab it onto here it'll just give you much more of a like controlled application actually let's start with the application super lightweight look how quickly it blends in it looks super natural as well like it really looks like your skin it makes your skin look very pretty and clean and it feels so comfortable when you're applying it and then I'm gonna do the nose So that was the JSM application process. As you can see, very easy to use, very easy to blend. It looks like your skin, it feels like your skin. It has a little bit of that very like 2% glow. It will leave your skin looking a little bit healthy, but definitely not like a dewy glow or anything like that for me personally. It has a clean medium semi matte finish and this one it says it's recommended for dry and combination skin types, which I totally agree as well. But I think I would say more combination skin because it is moisturizing, it is. it does have a moisturizing feel for sure, especially when you apply it throughout the day as well, like your skin will feel and it will maintain that feeling, but I don't think it's like extremely moisturizing or like extremely hydrating or anything like that, it's just like very middle. It would work perfect for combination skin, but it would definitely work for dry skin types as well. It hasn't been long since I purchased this one, it's only been like maybe a few weeks, but I have been reaching for this one quite often because I love the finish of it and I love the look it gives and it's just easy to take around with me. I know it's going to be no fuss at all. Another thing that I really like is this type of cushion. I can see it working well for like all seasons. So that's also like a very important factor for me. So yeah, and then next is the moonshot micro calming fit cushion The packaging first of all is so Pretty I love the two colors combined this one comes in three shades and I got mine in 301 honey beige So this cushion is known to have very calming ingredients and like it's I think it's very catered to sensitive skin And also it's catered to this environment we're living in right now where we have to wear masks every day So it has calming ingredients like aloe this one is also known for their slim fitting coverage obviously uh, moonshot has always like very lightweight cushions which i love i love the feeling of it when it goes on you're just like is this applying like i don't feel anything but it just feels that good so actually let's move on to the application process there's a little bit of cooling sensation as well so easy to blend in as well it has a little bit of a moisturizing touch to it. And this one settles in so quickly too. I feel like these two feel pretty similar now I'm using it side by side. Which is kind of funny, I guess it really shows like the style that I like when it comes to cushions. It just immediately sinks in. Has a soft semi matte finish. I would say this one's more like semi matte, but this one has a little bit of softness to it. So this one is actually more of a soft semi matte and it does dry quicker than the JSM one. So when you feel your skin, you'll feel that the calming fit has already settled in and it's starting to feel soft while the JSM is still kind of like velvety semi matte and so because of that i can see the calming fit working better for combination to oily skin types and once again for me this one the coverage is a medium it's not like super high coverage it's not super low coverage i would say it's a very just standard medium coverage cushion i think it's a slightly better than the jsm in terms of coverage 
but JSM is also, it's, they're both like easy to build up, so you know, you can work from there. But I think initially the Calming Fit does have a light, slight better coverage over the JSM, and it felt really nice under my mask as well. I remember reaching out for this one quite often because if I just knew if I wore this, it would feel comfortable on my skin. So this one was definitely a favorite this um, summer to fall, and it really shows that this is the type of cushions I really gravitate towards usually, and so for this season, as at least no fussy cushion, just like I know it's going to work, I know everything's going to be fine throughout the day type of cushion. So these two were definitely in my top three. They both have been on a little over five minutes. So this is Calming Fit and this is the Chong Senmul. They both seem very similar to me. Some got off on the nose and slightly a little bit on the cheeks. I would say it shows a little bit more on the Calming Fit side maybe, but the JSM also has a little bit here. So in terms of the longevity for the JSM and Calming Fit, so I had JSM on this side and then Calming Fit on this side. So as you can see, they both held their coverage really well, and there's only slight fading on both sides. But I will have to point out that on the nose area right here, the JSM side did better. As you can see, the calming fit, you can see a little bit more redness underneath. One thing I did notice is I think if you have dry skin, you might prefer the JSM one better. So I also wore the mask with both of the cushions on, and I wore it for three hours. So obviously there will be smudging, but it doesn't seem like too much for three hours. It does like come off pretty clean. For me, it looks pretty much even. Like they did the same like performance wise. So now I'm gonna do a little touch up for both of them. I felt like the JSM did really well and it looks like a fresh new coverage when you do apply it. It's definitely very buildable and it almost looks like it has a higher coverage over the calming fit which is so strange. And then the calming fit also did a really good job but I think I was definitely more like slightly more impressed with the JSM one. But for sure, I felt no discomfort when doing touch-ups for both of them. So last one is the Innisfree Cushion. This is the Innisfree No Sebum Powder Cushion. So this one has five different shades. I got mine in 23N. This one was definitely a summer cushion for me. And this one is also one of the best sellers in, for cushion categories in Innisfree. This one is supposed to provide that soft matte finish. And I think they made this cushion for the summer season. You know, when it's really humid and it's just like... The the heat and sweat as you can see already it's gonna have a bit of coverage and you can instantly feel a bit of that matteness and look how quickly everything just blends in and just already it's just so soft I really 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 enjoy this one and then with the leftover, I'm just gonna do it on my nose. I always do the nose last because that's when I have the least product on my puff. So I feel like it doesn't clump up. Everything is done on this side. I love it. Right now it's like, it's settled, like 90% of it has settled in, but you just need to wait a little bit more to fully settle in. It is starting to feel kind of powdery and soft. I just love how it feels like part of my skin, even while being like a matte cushion. thing for me though with this cushion is I think you really need to have a good hydrating base underneath. If you also have really extremely dry skin, I think something like this might enhance the dry areas. But if you are dealing with oily skin, if you know you want something to control, you know, everything that's going on, I think you will really like this one. It just like holds everything together. So personally for me, I think the Innisfree has the highest coverage out of all three. So if you are looking for more of a higher coverage, this one is it. I still wouldn't say it's full coverage, like high, high coverage, but it's very close to a strong medium coverage cushion. And also this one has a finish of that soft kind of semi-matte to matte finish. So what this actually feels like is when you do apply it, you immediately feel it sink into your skin. And then it kind of like turns into like a powdery kind of finish but it's not too powdery it's just just enough it's like you kind of dusted a little bit of powder on top personally for me i prefer this more during the uh summer season because i think it really helped with the weather and all that but 
winter season is fine but i think because i do have like more of a dry u-zone here that i do opt for something that's more moisturizing like moisturizing finish so i highly want to recommend this for people who have mild combination skin and two oily skin types i think this will work really well for you or if you are looking for a summer cushion i think this one is also a great option okay let's do a mask test there is barely anything it definitely shows that this is a matte cushion like semi matte to matte cushion as the other two definitely had a little bit of smudging but this one really does it well so for the longevity of the innisfree one as you can see it did a pretty good job i really feel like it really didn't move or shift there's nothing like that going on. I think if you do have like dry patches, it could pick up on that a little bit. It's not too severe. And my skin didn't feel tight or dry at all. So for longevity, I just love how it just maintains like the exact same. Also for the mask test, as you can see, it did pick up a little bit. I only had this on for maybe two hours, a little less. So there will be smudging. It's not fully smudge proof, but this is the amount for smudging for Innisfree. So I'm gonna quickly do like a touch up. It's not really a cushion, like matte cushions. I don't really like to touch up, but I'll just do a little bit. I think the coverage is still really good. So I don't really need to do a lot of coverage but it's really not one i would love to keep on touching up with like put a lot more just because the base is already there and it didn't really fade away too much so i probably wouldn't go further than this okay so that was it for my top three cushions of 2021 i hope you found this helpful and i hope you found maybe a cushion that you want to try also please remember this is all my opinion and my experiences so i it's a lot of it is coming from what i really like and what i personally like in a cushion so i have combination skin and i also really for this season right now i really like just like medium coverage cushions semi matte feeling so this is kind of like my preference as well so i hope you enjoyed please let me know what cushion you would like to try also what cushion i should try next and yeah i will see you in the next one now i will be hosting my very first giveaway and this giveaway is with wish trend and i'm so excited because i've wanted to do this for so long i just wanted to say thank you so much to anyone who has watched my video showed love and support and it really means a lot to me and if really actually makes me keep going whenever I see encouraging comments. So the two giveaway items will be the I'm From Honey Mask and the I'm From Mugwort Essence. I thought the honey mask would be good because it is the winter season and it's so moisturizing after you apply it on. And then for the Mugwort Essence, I thought it would be just like an all-arounder essence and it feels so good, it's so calming, it's non-irritating. I think it's, it'll be great for sensitive skin and so I think you guys will really love both items. And we'll be picking three winners. So the giveaway rule will be in the description below please make sure to read everything carefully because we will have to pick someone who has followed the entry rules and i will definitely try and do more giveaways if i can i am just so thankful and grateful and i'm i just want to say thank you so much for everything and i hope this can be a little like christmas gift type of thing <laughs> also thank you wish trend for letting this be possible and i will see you in the next video bye